Aloha, Rich Halverson here. This is ITS 128. And today I'm going to go over the uh, labs in chapter seven. So let me share my screen. And so I'm going to go over chapter seven, uh, where to, I'm going to do or where, or show you where to find these labs. Okay. So if you go to, well, first let's go see what the chapters, what the lab, what the labs are, we've got a uh, checker for integer string, checker for checker for inter, for integer string, and then this, this name format, and then a, a, a one called palindrome, and then the last one is re remove all non-alpha characters. And uh, so what I've done, and so this is. Uh, the first three are covered in pre in a previous in previous videos. So I'm going to show you how to find those. If you go to resources, in resources we do have this is uh, fall 2021 video playlist has most of the most of the uh, you know labs and challenges and so on for this semester, but not all of them. And so I've I've made this spreadsheet here that you can click on. And here I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm probably going to go back to the previous chapters also, but we see we're in fall 2022 right now, and these are the labs. And uh, this is what they like, for example, this, these first three, first three, this one, this one, and this one have equivalent labs in uh, fall 2021. Uh, the lab numbers are different. Our first two are the same, but the last one is different. And those you can find on the on these bit on this video. So if you go to uh, fall twenty twenty one playlist and go down to video twenty one. Right here. Uh, this video covers the first the first three, and so today I'm going to do the last one. All right, so the last one is um, this. Oops, no, I'm going to. I'll get there. It's this. Remove all characters. Remove all non-alpha characters, and so we're supposed to write a program where, for example, if the input looks like this. Uh, the output will look like this because we will remove all of the non-alpha characters. In other words, we're going to just leave the alpha characters. We're just going to leave uh, lowercase a through z uh, and uh, and uppercase a through z, and we're not going and everything else we're going to get rid of uh, in the string, uh, which is what looks like that. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, do this on our on our um, replit team uh, uh, our it's a what site website if let's let's go back to uh, okay we all have um, this is uh, let's see let me bring up my other one replit this is my non this is my student this is this one's more like yours. Uh, and if you go to Teams, uh, you can go to, you should have ITS 128 Fall 2022. And these are um, these are these team projects. And I think this one might be the complete solution. But, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, is I'm going to get you almost done. I, I'm, I'm going to do this remove non-alpha characters. And so, but you can't see this yet because I haven't published it yet. So, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get you started and then I'm gonna uh, publish this and then you can go in and see uh, where we are as far as I got today. Uh, and then you can just finish it up. And I'm gonna tell you what to look at, what to look for to finish it up, but I'm not gonna actually finish it up for you. I'm just gonna let you do that. Okay, so um, so the first thing, and of course, I like this platform better because uh, we can run stuff, and we ha actually have a command line over here. I mean, uh, 
a terminal over here. All right, so the first thing we, we have to do is we have to read in, let's go back to here. So the first thing, oh, okay. First thing we're gonna do, the, our approach is gonna be, we're gonna read in the string from the user. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna take that string and, and, and we're gonna go character by character and check to see, uh, to make sure it is, it is uh, uh, only an alpha character. It's only, and then if it's only an alpha character, then we'll print it out. If it's not an alpha character, then we then we won't print it out. We'll just skip it. Okay. So the approach is, and so so I'm going to do it over here, just as I like to. So uh, so I'm going to have a a variable called user input, and so I'm going to ask the user for it input, and I'm going to uh, say please. I'm going to do this. Please uh, just enter a string. And of course, in the solution that you put in here and submit, uh, you would not you would not have anything inside here because this is going to print something out. And of course, I do this because of course, if you're actually going to do this, you would <clears throat> you would have a prompt, and and so that's what that is now. Um, now there's two approaches that we can do with, there's the approach where we actually, uh, declare a new string that's empty. And then as we're looping through each character, we append, uh, only alpha characters onto this new string and then print that string out, or we can skip that, that, uh, that new string part and just take the string that's read in and go character by character. And if it is an alpha, then we will print it out. Otherwise we won't print it out. So I'm gonna take the second approach. The solution takes the first approach, but uh, either one of them uh, will, will, will give you uh, all the points if it's correct, if it's otherwise correct. So to look at all the characters, we would do a four and I'm gonna do a character, just call it a character because that's a nice name for that variable in user input in user input, don't get ahead of this, user input. Uh, for, for each character in user input, we're gonna uh, do a check, some sort of if, uh, and, and uh, it is, we're looking at character. Uh, and uh, so we're gonna look at a method that will, it, it's uh, a, a method that will uh, uh, look at, at the character and return true or false based on whether it's a, a letter or a digit or neither, okay, or, or whatever. Now, where do we find these methods? Well, we find these methods by going back to our textbook and looking at section 7.3, 7.3 and we look at the string methods we go down to about the middle here and we have the string methods that we can can look at and and this is a selection that we can use uh, this method will return true if all the characters in the string and we're going to we're only going to be looking at one character but it's still going to be a string a string of one character uh will, will return true if it is uh, lowercase or uppercase letter, or if it's digits. Okay, well, that's pretty close. So we don't want the digits. Uh, this one will return true if all the characters, the, the one, uh, is a digit. Okay, uh, so so we can do the, we can test if that one is false, if we can somehow combine it with this and this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, First, start with the uh, is alumnum alnum. By the way, look at this. Okay, look. There's a there's an there's an is where they're all all numeric. There's an is alpha a is ASCII a is decimal is digit. See, so we've seen is digit and is alnum identifier if lowercase is numeric. I don't know what the difference between that and and uh, 
is digit. Anyway, um, oh, I guess it's okay. Anyway, so so let's try this first one. A L N U M. Why is not giving me? Is L num? Is because I didn't start it right. Is L num? There we go. And I just press tab and do that. Um. Then uh, print print um, the character. Oh, I gotta put this is we're in uh, Python three here. Print uh, the character. I want to print the character, uh, and then I don't want to print anything. I, I don't want to print a space or a return or anything. So I'm going to do end equals nothing. Close. Uh, oh, I guess when I'm all done, I'm going to have to print out the line. So I'm going to do print, whatever. Okay, so uh, so let's run this. Okay, uh, and, and the string is going to be, uh, how about if the string is this? That. That's the string we're testing. And oh, it does hello world, but the one is still there. Okay, so um, I think this is as far as I'm going to go. So I'm going to publish this, and you take it from here. And, and, and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to put a comment here. I'm going to say, this doesn't work uh, because it doesn't exclude num digits from the string. Okay, so that I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna hit, uh, okay, so, so this is not gonna print out or, or anything. This is a comment just for, for you, you coming back. And I think I'm gonna publish this project. Okay, so boom, now it's published. Boom, save. And um, so if we go over to something that looks like what you, but I believe what you have, and I guess if I re refresh this now, ah, there is the remove all alpha characters. And, uh, you know, this thing is set up so, you know, I could go in, I can probably go in and look at your, I don't know, I think I can go in and, and look at your specific uh, project that you're working on. But anyway, uh, and you can get it working here or not, but basically when you're done, you're going to want to take out this and what well, you're going to want to test it to make sure it's correct. Take this out and then that's what you paste in here and then you can develop it more in here or, or, or you know, submit it. Now, uh, let's go back here and I want to, you, re, you recall we had uh, now, so to finish this, um, you can do um, uh, if, you know, uh, I think you can do like not character uh, is dot is digit what is this other one down here gonna, is is numeric what, what does that do if that would work uh, okay so 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 if it gets past this if statement, then you know that all the funny goofy characters are removed, but the digits are not removed. And then if it if it gets past this one, then you know it's not not numeric. Now that this might work. Oh, I gotta indent this. Oh no, yes, I got it because it's okay. So this might work. This will probably work. Um, you know, you know, another thing though is uh there is The string functions in here that were that are of interest to us are is is um, alpha uh, is alpha or numeric. This is what that's what a l n u m is alpha alpha or numeric uh, or is alpha numeric. Uh, this is is digit, but this is is lowercase uppercase. If it's a space, if it starts with whatever. Uh, but if we look over here in this what this cool this cool uh, thing here, uh, when we go back and ask for suggestions on is, um, you know, 
is alpha might might be just what we may, might be just what we need and we don't need anything else and we just use that and you notice is alpha is not in this list but but believe me it'll work um so anyway um those are those are some pretty good hints for finishing off this of uh, all of the uh labs in chapter seven so hope this helps thanks for watching <laughs>